Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying some new stuff for you guys. Got some stuff in the mail, so I'm gonna do a get ready with me while I jam to my music. So yeah, let's get into it. I got the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer. I've actually tried it maybe three or four times. I really like it. Uh, it's kind of sticky. I won't say what that looks like, but you know. Um, it actually works really well for helping your makeup adhere to your skin while hydrating and giving you a nice glow. Uh, it does contain cannabis. A lot of Milk Makeup's products, actually a lot of beauty products now contain cannabis. Everybody's obsessed with cannabis, putting cannabis in everything um, because it actually is good for you. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, I did notice after leaving it on for a couple minutes that it did get quite tacky. So I think it was ready for my makeup to go on top. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation. I have the Flawless um, the Flawless Fusion, which is more of a matte. This is more of a hydrating radiant finish, I guess. Um, the shades that they sent me are very far off. This shade is way too light for me, and then the other shade they sent me is my summer shade. But I wanted to show you guys how the foundation worked, so I went ahead and applied it. I just mixed both to kind of get a similar shade to what I need. The shades I'm using, the lighter shade is Suntan, and the darker shade is Pecan. It is a nice foundation. It applies very nice. It does have a medium coverage. It's not full, but that's okay. I'm not really obsessed with full coverage foundations right now anyways, because I like a little bit of my skin to peek through, you know, for an everyday look. Um, so as you can see, it is coming off a little bit yellow, but we're gonna fix it with contouring and highlighting and all that. And I'll put all of the shades, all of the links, everything you need on the description box. You guys already know, but if you're new, that's where all of the info is going. So if you needed anything in there, it's in there, okay? This is the Flesh Beauty Thick Stick Foundation. I love these flesh foundations. They're so good. I use them every day um, for like an everyday look, but they do work for layering as well. Um, and they just go on so nice. They're not really matte finish, but they're not really dewy either. They kind of give like a very natural finish. So if you don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but you just want something to like touch up, these are perfect. I also use this for contouring. So this is the uh, shade Hazelnut, I believe. This is the Cover FX Powerplay Concealer. It is crease proof, it is long wearing, it is definitely full coverage and I love it. I use it a lot and this is the shade in medium three, I believe. They have a ton of shades, ton of undertones, so you really can't go wrong with Cover FX. They work really hard to make sure that everybody's included, which I really appreciate. Cover FX has been doing this though, like before it was a thing to have all the shades, they had all the shades, so I appreciate them. I love this concealer though. It works really well for under the eyes. It doesn't crease and it goes on nicely. Okay, we're gonna keep jamming now and moving forward. By the way, that beautiful sponge that I'm using is by Your Lash Bar, which is my besties makeup line. So be sure to check that out. Um, I am using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. This is the shade Blondie. I love these powders. I mean, I can't even lie to you guys. I really, really like them. I haven't really stopped using this since I got it. Um, it's my favorite under eye powder at the moment. Um, and it goes on really nicely. It helps my eye under eyes to not crease and to stay nice and smooth and look airbrushed. So I appreciate that. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This is the shade Honey. And I use this more for all over my face. I don't typically use this under my eyes because it doesn't really give me the highlight that I like. So I prefer to use this all over the face. Now I would recommend that if you're gonna use it under the eyes to get banana, because I believe that's the like universal banana shade or whatever. So yeah, that's probably the one you want. This is a new Hoola bronzer. Now listen guys, I know Benefit hasn't been the best about making sure that all shades are included with their makeup. However, I feel like they're trying to step it up I can't really knock them for trying. The Hula Bronzer, um, I've always loved it, but I mean, this color is just taking it to another level. Now this is the shade Caramel. They are, there is a darker shade and the darker shade is very dark. So I definitely would say that if you are darker than me, there is a shade for you. Congrats, Benefit, on being inclusive, finally. Uh, but anyways, yes, we're blending this on out and I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil. Do I even have to go into this? Do I even have to tell you how much I love this? Do I even have to give you the whole spiel about how I buy these in bulk, like five at a time? I, I, don't, I don't need to tell y'all. Do I? Do I? Do I? Probably not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows like I normally do. I'll let y'all enjoy this footage. And then 
after I'm done filling my brows in, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel, which also has cannabis in it. And I'm going to use that to fluff up my brows and make them stay a little bit longer. Okay, so I really wanted to be excited about this one. This is the MAC Boom Boom Bloom Highlight. This is part of their new Boom Boom Bloom collection. And it looks so pretty in the pan. When I touched it, I thought it was gonna be amazing. I put it on my face and this is what happened. Crickets, yeah. I know, nothing. I, I really wasn't getting what I had anticipated I was gonna get from this. I mean, it does give a nice sheer highlight if you're a sheer highlight kind of person, but who, <laughs> where they do that at? That is not me. Um, I don't necessarily know if it was giving me bronze or blush or highlight. I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Like I was very underwhelmed. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, the prettiness is gone. So it just came out kind of dusty to me, just a little bit. A little bit dusty so after using that I decided I was just gonna go ahead and use my regular regular favorite highlighter because this was not giving me what I wanted sis it just wasn't happening for me so this is the dose of colors Desi Katie collection highlighter and this is chasing the Sun chasing the Sun is my favorite I use it pretty much every day when I wear makeup I actually do use this when I don't wear makeup as well just kind of dust it all over my face and to give me a little highlight, you know what I'm saying? Um, makes you look more put together even though you didn't try. And um, I just really love this clip because of the dust particles in the air. Do you see the glitter? It just, I don't know, that just made me happy. It made me feel like fairy dust was around me. I don't know, angels were speaking to me. <sighs> Not sure. Anyways, this is Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I definitely love this. I have been using this for about a month now. It is very, very nice. Um, it doesn't clump and it gives you a very nice voluminous lengthening effect to your lashes. I'm just being honest with you guys, I have long lashes already. So, I mean, what I say about mascaras may not be the same for other people, but I think this is a great mascara. So yeah, this is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. And they have a lot of colors in these. Um, they have pink, blue, red, yellow, green. Uh, this is pink, obviously. More of a magenta e pink, but it's pink. And I like to use these on my bottom lashes just to give me a little bit of pop of color without putting on eyeshadow because you guys know how I feel about eyeshadow. <laughs> um, this is the ColourPop BFF3 Lip Pencil. And I love this one. This is a perfect brown or nude brown for my dark skin girls if or brown skin girls. Um, you know, it's very nice. I use this with just gloss and I love it because it gives me a nice definition without trying too hard, you know what I'm saying? Um, so this is the Stay Glossy Gloss by Rimmel. I love Rimmel's glosses. I don't know why, but I just really like them and they're cheap. So it's not like you're, you know, investing too much. Um, and this one has like a 3D effect, which I really like. This is the MAC Grand Illusion Liquid Lip Color. I love these liquid lip colors. I feel like they're so pretty. They have like a metallic finish, but they're like 3D. I don't know. I just love it. This is the MAC Boom Boom Bloom Fix Plus, which is supposed to smell like cherry blossom. I don't remember it smelling like anything, but I guess that's what cherry blossom smells like. This is the Flesh Flesh Bot Eye and Cheek Gloss. I use this quite often. Whenever I, you know, post on Instagram and I say like the dew in the morning, this is the dew. The key that I've learned to this is to place it only in the spots that you want to reflect light. Do not put this on your cheeks, on your jawline, on any part of your face that you don't want to highlight and make look dewy, okay? So that's the key for me. I have oily skin, so I don't put this anywhere near my nose. I don't put this anywhere near my cheeks because that's where I tend to get a little more oil around my nose cheek area. So I keep it far, far away from there. If you do need more security, go ahead and apply a little bit more of your highlighter powder. I just use whatever's left on my brush. And that way it'll give you a little bit more of a set instead of just leaving it dewy. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you want to see more videos like it. If you want more Get Ready With Me's from me. If not, what are you doing? Why are you still here? Uh, anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!